Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Pet. It's new car day today. Now, hopefully, you tuned in to my last video, my uh, final update on this Astra EV, my Hendy Group long termer, plagued with punctures. And I'm now plagued with the plague because I've been struggling with a cold for about the last four weeks, probably. And I thought it had gone over the weekend. And then it came back with a vengeance yesterday and last night. And I feel absolutely awful. I've got a really blocked nose. Never mind. Anyway. So yeah, I'm on my way to another Hendy dealership to pick up my new long-termer. Happy days. what though when you get this car on a nice bit a twisty it's really good <laughs> really really good I said in my update review it's not the fastest car in the world but it's probably doing it a bit of an injustice to be honest because it's got it's got plenty of get up and go and actually when you get it on a nice bit of road I've got I'm in sport mode I've got B mode engaged so full regen braking just a little bit of a lift off on some corners I don't really need to touch the brake I can just lift off let the regen do all the work it's a really good fun car to chuck about I like it a lot but the question is where am I going and what's my next car gonna be well uh, I'll give you some clues. I've done one thing with this brand and the Hendy dealership that supports this brand. But I have driven a number of their cars on the channel. Any guesses? I'm probably just going to leave you with... They're known for lightweight cars. And if you don't get it with that one, well, honestly... You don't deserve to get it, because that's the biggest clue ever. Anyway, I am but 12 miles away from the dealership. I'll update you when I get there. I'm just going to enjoy this road and enjoy my final drive in the Astra EV, which, when it's been on the road and available for me to drive, has been a huge amount of fun, and I've enjoyed a great deal. And it's a really, really good electric car. Well, I've just had a thought. I might have given things away in the title of the video, but I haven't completely decided what I'm going to entitle the video. So it might be a surprise, or it might be bloody obvious. Well, I've arrived, and I think I gave it away a little bit with the lightweight comment and probably the thumbnail, but yes, I am at Hendy Lotus Southampton, which is actually in Eastleigh, very close to Hendy Ford and Hendy Performance, if you know those outlets. I've been there a lot uh, to Hendy Performance. Question is, which Lotus? And we've got quite an interesting lineup. I drove the Electra not that many weeks ago, the Electra R, an absolutely outstanding car, totally blew my mind, but I'm not going electric. So I could, this is the most recent uh, Lotus I've driven. This is the four-cylinder AMG Lotus Emira uh, with the flappy paddle gearbox. I'm not driving that either. Nope. This is my new long-termer. The V6 manual Lotus Emira. 400 horsepower, rear-wheel drive. What a colour. Now, it's not the ideal location for me to do a handover. So I'm going to pop inside and we're going to speak to Emma because Emma knows all things about Lotus. She's going to give me a handover with a beautiful first edition car that's in the showroom. But yeah, we're going yellow Lotus, baby. Woohoo! Uh, now then, guys, this is the lovely Emma. Now, I met Emma before although you didn't come on camera, but you did the no. handover when I had Electra R. Yes, I did, yes. <laughs> and I dealt was... with a psychological trauma when I brought that car back because <laughs> it was so fast. Yeah, it is quite a quick car, the Electra R. So it... you're looking at 905 brake horsepower in there. Yeah. So and with electric, 
It is just instant power. It, an epic car, an epic car. But we're here to talk about an equally epic car. Yes. The Amira. Now, I've Indeed. driven both the V6 and the four-cylinder Amira, a hugely impressive car. But bizarrely, I've never driven it on the road. Okay, track so, only? Track only. Uh, the cool. uh, last two years of Goodwood Media Day. Um, and I thought it'd be really useful just to have a bit of a chat about Amira and also this brand new showroom, because you yes. were in the building that's just up that way. Absolutely, yes. We're at the, we were at the back. Yes, yeah, so, so we're now at the front. That's going to be Maserati, who are coming yes. up from Poole. Uh, so that's right next to Handy Performance. And you're now right on the shop front. Absolutely, yeah. Lotus Where Southampton, Eastleigh. Yes. Well, we're still, yeah, Lotus yeah. Southampton, Eastleigh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're still there. Just, just Google it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so really lovely showroom. And you've got yeah. this, I thought we'd, we'd, it'd be nice to do a film or, or some chat around the car I'm going to actually be having as my long-term, but it's right next yeah. to the busy road, so I thought we'd come in in the warm and we'd talk Absolutely. about this. Yes. So the colour of the car I'm getting is... Hethel yellow. Hethel yellow. Absolutely. Need to learn that. This, though... This, yes. I think this is one of the nicest car. Well, it's the nicest color Lotus do. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the nicest colors you can get a car in. It's absolutely stunning. So from the offset, it looks black. Now it's not. Yeah. The name of the color of this vehicle is dark verdant green. Dark verdant green. So in the sunlight and at different patches, especially when you're yeah. in the showroom, you can see the green tint just along the car. It's really good. I've been, when these first came out, I went on the, on the configurator and configured one in that colour with the, with the sort of tan interior. <laughs> so, so we're getting the V6. Yes. Um, so if, um, I, I, we were talking off camera, you said you know, the best thing to do is come down and have a look at the cars. Absolutely. Come and drive them. Drive them, absolutely. Um, because V6, 400 horsepower, manual gearbox, so with the 3.5 litre V6 manual, yeah. but you can also get it in a six speed automatic as okay. well. So you do have the choice yeah. between an automatic and a manual gearbox. What's the, is it, what's the split between those on? Would you kind of about half and half or do most people go for the manual? Ma a manual sports car nowadays is such a rare thing. Yes. <laughs> people it is a little kind of bit, want, yes. the, want the three pedals and it's got such an amazing yeah. gear changer and open shifter. It's yeah. really cool. Well, a lot of people now in cars do have automatic, but yeah. also your paddle shift. Yeah. The V6 automatic comes with paddle shift, yeah. but we've seen a lot more manuals than automatics. Yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me. And then the four cylinder one that you've just started to get in. Absolutely. That is paddle shift only. Yes. So we've just had the two litre turbo yeah. um, delivered to ourselves. We're now yeah. doing test drives here for the two litre. Yeah. And that is an eight speed automatic yeah. only and 360 brake i think indeed 360 brake See, I've, been doing, I've been doing my homework <laughs> impressive <laughs> i know impressive i know uh, wow i mean it's it's a it's a mega car so when when people come what's the the kind of handover or the, the ordering process so they can come and test drive the car absolutely they come and sit yeah. down with you guys and you can help them kind of configure you were talking about color choice is quite interesting there's more color choice with the four four cylinder than the v6 yes which is bizarre <laughs> yes. So when the V6 initially came out, there were only six colours. Yeah. Um, they then released another six colours, which you can now get in, in the two litre. So most of the V6s that you will see will be in the first six. Yeah. And the two litres you will then see in the other colours. Yeah. I, I like the green. I like the yellow. And then we've got a rather lovely red one there. Yes. <laughs> Magma red. Oh. <laughs> So, so yeah, so you, you do the ordering mm -hmm. um, and then when, 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 the, when the big day comes and you, you hand over, that must yes. be for you as a salesperson, like the ultimate yeah. day because you yeah, get this big lovely. happy grin on customers' faces. Yeah, and absolutely. And some customers have been waiting sort of quite a long time for their car yeah. to be delivered. So it's, it is such a lovely experience. We make sure that there's a cover over the car. We always you know, try and persuade the customer to reveal it themselves. Yeah. Sometimes we have to do it for them, yeah. um, but it's all part of, of revealing your own car. It's so exciting, yeah, wow. it's so lovely. Talking about so exciting, I'm kind of excited <laughs> to get in the car and drive it home, to be honest. <laughs> so um, the next few weeks are gonna be full of adventures with the Lotus. I can't wait just to, to spend time in the car. It's a very similar ethos to the kind of Boxster Cayman thing that I, I love those cool. those cars from Porsche yeah. and clearly this is this is the same kind of lightweight 
you know, 360 to 400 horsepower, rear wheel drive, manual yeah. gearbox. Bring it on. Good luck with <laughs> oh, it. <laughs> thank you very much. So yes, so um, I reckon we jump in the car and head home uh, and I'll give you my initial impressions and then you need to tune in in a week or two's time when I can then have put it to the test. But I know a really nice way back from here. So the nice thing about coming here, to get back to my house near Goodwood, you can go over the Morstead Road. and Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So we might have to head there. <laughs> Emma, you've been a superstar. Thank Not you very much. Very uh, welcome. Amazing. Oh, wow. What a car to walk up to. Now, I have uh, with Emma been through a few things and set the car up. By the way, massive shout out to Emma. Talk about kind of, you know, being really cool. She's just won a holiday in Dubai from Lotus for being the second best Lotus salesperson in the UK for the last quarter of last year. That's awesome, absolutely awesome. That's off to you, Emma, well done, mate. So um, we have uh, done some basic things. I've paired my phone, um, the, this little flip up thing there, push the button there to start the car. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is just head home and get my head around the car. Obviously I'm gonna have to put it in sport. Tour, sport mode. Uh, and then once I'm on some nice roads, uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk through my initial driving impressions. end of the car is delicious and then that acceleration but the thing I remember from driving this car on track is the gearbox is is really precise the the distance between the gates the throw is so tiny and so accurate it really does take quite a bit of thinking about and at the moment I've been driving the car for like less than half an hour and I really need to get my head around that. You need to really understand and get a feel for where the gates are. And that noise. So I'm in sport mode, I've not put it up into track because I'm on the road. <laughs> but it's that, so if I come down from, down into second and then. Oh, oh boy, this is a special car already. A really, really special car. Just in terms of controls, I'm using CarPlay. I've had a very quick flick through the onboard infotainment system. I'm sure I'll get my head around that. I'll probably use CarPlay most of the time. The lovely display up on the main instrument binnacle with a big sweeping RPM rev counter across the top. Nice big indicator on my speed, big indicator of what gear I'm in. Very driver oriented and then this steering wheel, it's a very unusual shape but when you've got your hands just here, it, they just sit so nicely. It's a, it's a bit fat and a bit thick. But I'm sure I'll get used to it and then the visibility out the front is exceptional you can just see the kind of bulge over the front wings and then your door mounted mirrors you've got this amazing view down the side of the car you can see the intake for the mid mounted V6 oh 
awesome. Really, really awesome. Yeah, that gearbox is so tight. The clutch is heavy, but there's not a huge flywheel in the car, I don't think, so it's quite easy to stall the car. Um, just to get in that balance, that biting point between throttle and clutch is quite tricky. You need a bit of gas just to make sure you don't... this car for the next probably around about a month as I said the plan is to change me out of my Hendy Ambassador cars now for uh, every month the Astra was a bit longer because of the problems we had with tyres and punctures but I anticipate having this car for about a month so what would you like me to do any ideas for videos I might do a compare and contrast with my Boxster I know my Boxster has no roof and this is a coupe but it's a very similar format car really mid-engined this has got a bit more power, 400 horsepower. Uh, but the kind of drive tour, B road, mega driving engagement, that's exactly where this car is pitched. And I'm pretty sure, after having driven it for probably half an hour, that's exactly where it is. It's, it's a mega thing on track, but on the road, you can just feel every bump, you can look at every contour, the feedback through the steering wheel so far is just fantastic and the noise it's making the burbles on overrun absolutely mega thing really mega thing i'm still working my way through understanding the car it's just starting to rain so i don't know where the grip levels are and what the traction is so i'm just going to be super careful but this is a special car the challenge is already the the price point of these has gone up so much remember when they launched the festival of speed a few years ago now i know so many people who put money down on one but they were kind of like mid to late 60s they're now about ninety thousand quid for a for a, a launch edition car like this which is a lot so it's got an awful lot to live up to i think the um the four-cylinder one's going to be a little bit a little bit less expensive. I nearly said cheaper then. Still going to be expensive, but less expensive. But here we go. I love coming this way. It's some great bits of road. Oh, boo. White van man's just spoiled all my fun. Anyway, the light isn't great. I'm going to head home, but let me know in the comments what you think of my new long-termer. I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty special car. I can't wait to get underneath its skin in the next next few weeks, really get my head around this car. But yeah, uh, massive thanks to Hendy as always. Emma, you are a legend for the handover. Congrats again for being such an amazing salesperson. Uh, April, who was uh, there at the handover as well, um, really excited for this one. Um, and I'm so proud to be a Handy Group brand ambassador. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you and concentrate on getting home. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I'm also going to get home and try and get well, because I need to go to Spain tomorrow or after tomorrow. And at the moment, that's not happening. Anyway, see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.